Welcome to the Boss Ladies Mindset Channel powered by Crown for Success, the largest women's empowerment network for soulful CEOs on social media. We are a coaching business that mentors and motivates women to reach their highest potential in business and mindset mastery. Each one of our episodes will share valuable tips, resources, interviews, and empowering information that will help boss ladies design a life and business they're crazy as fuck about. Hi queens, this is Danny Marie and I am here with Ill Beauty. I am an RVP with Crown for Success. Thank you so much for stopping by our YouTube channel. Okay, we are on the letter H in our Let's Talk Some Real Shit series. Let's dive in. All right, the H in shit, this stands for help. I am the worst at this. I never ask for help in any area in my life. It is one of my biggest downfalls. I truly, truly had to look at myself and look at my circumstances and realize it is okay to ask for help. We need help. We need to ask people for help when we need it. Something as simple as when I'm not able to brush my hair, to ask my daughter, can you please brush my hair for me? When I'm not able to get out of bed, to have somebody call them from the other room and say, please help walk me here. Please help just get me out of bed. I think that it is important to delegate. I was building a website and I was struggling for months. I am not a web designer. I am not a web developer. I know nothing about this area, but I really truly kept telling myself, I'm gonna do this, it's fine. When I really dug deep, I realized it's okay to ask for help. So you know what? I hired a web designer. I hired a logo specialist. And you know what? I gained a true friend from this amazing experience. She created a beautiful, professional, classy website that I was struggling with. She created these logos that I am in love with. I literally cried when she showed me my website. It will be coming up soon, so stay tuned. I think that it's so important for us to ask for help. I actually had to ask for help and have somebody come and start my car. My family was out of town. I was home at the time by myself, and I had an illness arise, like I said in the previous part of the series. And I realized my car battery would die. I was just thinking about some of these things being in bed, And so asking my brother, can you please start my car so that my car battery doesn't die? That is something so small, but something that I would have never asked for before. I would have just said, oh, I'll call AAA. How silly. I wasn't able to make my bed. And I was huffing and puffing and I was out of breath and I was about to pass out. And I, the independent me, kept saying, it's fine, it's fine, I'm gonna make this damn bed. And I was just being stubborn and I just kept continuing doing it. I went out after maybe an hour and I told my mom, I need help. I can't do it. I'm struggling and it's something so stupid. My body will just not allow me to do this. And I had to tell myself, I'm not weak. I'm not, it's okay to be vulnerable. I'm not any less than by asking for help in any area in my life. It's recognizing my strengths, my strengths and my weaknesses. It's recognizing where I need help, right? This is why our tribe is here. People are here. They're not going to reach out and say, do you need help with this? Do you need help with that? No, you have your voice. You have the voice and the power to say, I need help in this area. Maybe it's something as simple as, I really feel like having a Hershey's and I want to have something delicious today. Ask for it. Ask your girlfriend, hey, do you mind dropping off a a chocolate bar for me? That little piece of help can uplift you and get you through that next hour, that next... Sometimes for me, it was I was taking it hour by hour. Sometimes I take it day by day and I have little things within my day that I am looking forward to. I would look forward to my daughter coming home from school. I would look forward to the mailman dropping off my mail and me saying, okay, I have this to look at in this magazine that's going to be delivered. Do you know that I even had flowers delivered to myself? 
I had flowers delivered to myself. And do you know what that did for me? I felt so much joy by having those flowers delivered. By From the time that I knew that they were coming, I picked them up at my front door, that I had them in my room for the next week. Every day when I woke up and I was saying how grateful I was, I would look at those flowers and it would make me smile. I wasn't smiling inside. I wasn't feeling like smiling. I wasn't feeling well, so I wasn't feeling like I wanted to do anything. And those flowers that I sent myself, I was doing self-help for me. That was something that I wanted to lift up and brighten my world. The other thing I want to talk about with help, you need help with re-energizing your surroundings. For me, my room, a lot of you know, I am very, very detail-oriented in work in certain areas, but my room always tends to be a disaster. My room is set up almost like a store. I have over 100 pairs of shoes. At one time, I had over 300 pairs of shoes. I absolutely love fashion. I buy any and every makeup product, and I have my room set up where I have my shoes on my walls. I have my desk that has all of my makeup, and I truly love anything and everything that has to do with fashion. I feel as though those little things just are so great. And so being able to organize those shoes and being able to organize my desk with the makeup, it just is so uplifting. I get rid of makeup that I'm not using anymore. Maybe there's makeup that's expired and just clearing out that energy. I try to re-energize my entire room and get rid of things. I had things from others. I had things that were gifts. I had things that were um, negative things that were in my room and were just taking up the energy in my room. So what I did is I repurposed some of that stuff and I redistributed and I sold online and I gave you know things away and maybe I just threw in the trash. But I created a space that was positive, that was loving, that had this positive energy that just made me feel at peace and just calm. This space for me is somewhere that I live and I am in and around most of the time. I was spending so much time in my room and I just wasn't happy. I had some curtains that were purchased for me and I had other things and they just weren't what I wanted but they were a gift and I felt bad. So you know what I did? I ordered online. I ordered a new bedspread. I ordered all new bedding. I got a whole new mattress. I ordered all these things that made me comfortable in my own place, in my own sanctuary. I created this energy and you know what? I asked for help. I asked for help with these things because I was not able to. I said, I am not feeling well. I My body kills me and I need a bed where I am able to truly, truly rest. So I asked. I got a new bed. I had it put in. I didn't do anything with it. I had it done for me. I, The old me would have not have done that. I would have done it all on my own. I really, really took the time to look at what else was in my room. What what clothes did I really not need? What What things and areas in my room? And I know that's so easy. And I know that you may say, well, I don't have the energy for that. Neither did I, love. I didn't either. So you know what? I did one little box at a time. I did one little area at a time. I started with my nightstand. I started cleaning that off throwing out what didn't bring me love. And there were certain things that I was able to get rid of. I was able to re-energize my room. By the time I was done, I had seriously spent minimal amount. I bought a dresser that I found on OfferUp from a couple that was moving. I was able to put so many clothes in there. I never had a dresser before because I really just wanted everything to hang in my closet. And I have certain clothing racks in my room and I thought I'm being ridiculous needing that. That was something so simple, again. And just asking for help from others to go pick that up, bring it and have it delivered to me and install it in my room. I had little things that really, really helped me, helped on this journey of I'm going to be, my new reality is being in my room probably 90% of the time. 
the other 10%, I may be at the store on the days that I can. I may be over, you know, at friends' houses if I can. But most of the time, I'm not able to. I may spend a lot of my time here in my room and at the doctor. And that's my reality. I go to the doctor quite a bit. I come home and I'm in my room. So being able to have a place that is positive feels loving and just genuinely feels good and resonates with your beauty within. Me putting up certain things in my room just made me feel beautiful. I had this bedding on my bed with the throw pillows and I made it pink and pale pink, which is my favorite color. I didn't care if nobody else liked it. I loved it. And every time I looked at my bed and I laid in bed, I just felt so much better. I don't want to have anyone feel what I felt and I don't want anyone to go through any of these little things not asking for help or thinking that they're alone or thinking that they're too down you are never alone you have the most beautiful heart you are beautiful you are strong and you have me here to help you in any way that I can Again, I am going to help with as much as I can, but these are just little things that I do, my experiences that I hope inspire you to help you through this journey. If you are in bed, know that you are going to get through this. This is just a little blip in your story and you will get up. I am living proof that you will get up. I was literally in bed. I could not get up. I could not stand up. I was not able to do anything, even look at my phone and play these videos. But Queen, I am so proud of you and you are going to do this. Please stick with me through the next part of our next series. I'm going to be doing some reviews and I hope that you like and subscribe this. I am Danny Marie and I am finishing with my Ill Beauty series on the word shit. Um, thank you so much for following. I really am so grateful for you all, and I'm so grateful for all the women at Crown for Success. Please stay tuned for my website launch, and please follow me on Instagram at Danny underscore Marie dot love. Thank you so much. Heart, Danny Marie. Thank you so much for tuning into the Boss Ladies Mindset Channel powered by Crown for Success. Please tune in next week for another episode and don't forget to follow us on Instagram at RVP Queens, at The Girl Gang Confidential, at Crown for Success, at Strong Women Are Beautiful and of course at Boss Ladies Mindsets.